Have you ever wondered if wind turbines affect the wind itself? You and I have an insatiable appetite for electricity. Come with me and we'll look at the issues relative to wind farms and the communities that they serve. This is The Wind Farm Guy. Hi, this is Dennis Stout and thank you for joining me for this episode of The Wind Farm Guy. Today we're going to consider the wind itself. More specifically, how a wind turbine affects the wind. You know that as wind blows through the blades of a wind turbine, it turns the rotor assembly, which ultimately turns the generator, thus generating electricity. Albert Einstein said, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. So as the wind turbine converts some of the kinetic energy in, in the wind into mechanical energy and then into electrical energy, it has thereby removed some of the energy from the wind and converted it into electrical energy. It's a fact. But there's a funny thing that happens to the wind itself that you cannot see. Firstly, it is somewhat disturbed after it goes through a wind turbine and is therefore moving slightly slower. After all, some of its energy has been removed. For that reason, wind companies space the turbines far enough apart for the wind to reorganize itself before it hits the next turbine. Except for the leading turbines, if turbines are too close together, they are less efficient because they're encountering slower wind. There is a wake that occurs behind a turbine that is similar to a wake behind a boat. This doesn't happen because it's a turbine. It happens because the turbine is an obstacle to the wind. A meteorologist way smarter than me explained that even a person standing, standing in an open field, just a man standing in a field, would create a measurable wake behind them. That wake is called an anomaly, and this anomaly affects the wind for a great distance. Certainly, a wind turbine creates a bigger wake than a human being, but wakes are not limited to wind turbines. That is why wind companies are concerned about all obstacles in the area, be them buildings, or trees, power lines, cell towers, or even wind turbines. Keep in mind, the further away from an obstacle the rotor is, the less impact that obstacle will have on it. Therefore, the taller the turbine, the less impact that obstacle, say a house or a tree, will have on that turbine. The inverse is also true. The further away or taller the turbine is, the less impact it will have on the trees and homes. Let me hasten to say, though, that taller turbines are also often larger turbines. Rather, they have longer blades, meaning larger rotor assemblies with a broader rotor diameter. This allows them to catch more wind, therefore convert more wind energy. That additional energy gives the turning generator more torque and thus generates more electricity. Because of the larger rotor, the turbine also disturbs more wind. So the larger the rotor, the more electricity it generates and the more wind it disturbs. The good thing for landowners is that those larger rotors are often placed higher up in the air and therefore further away from things on the ground like homes, thereby reducing their impact. Also, a recent study revealed that some crops are even improved as a result of a neighboring wind turbine because of the wind effect. Yes, you heard that right. This is a topic for a future wind farm guy, but suffice it to say that the University of Colorado at Boulder has discovered that some crops may actually have higher yields inside wind farms. I can't wait to do that episode. Finally, I've been asked if wind farms can affect the weather patterns. That's a good question, to which I have a twofold answer. On one hand, as I stated earlier, even a person standing in an open field affects the wind. So yes, there has to be at least a subtle effect. On the other hand, to my knowledge, there's little evidence of a major effect on weather patterns from a wind turbine. Honestly, there's very little that man can do 
that can change weather systems, but it can be done. Certainly on a global scale, we know that. And cities, with all their asphalt and concrete, heat up the area. And man-made lakes have a cooling effect. Both can affect the weather, at least on a micro scale. That also may be a topic for a future wind farm guy. If you like the things I've said today, please click like and subscribe below, and be sure and click the bell. Also leave a comment if you want. Without a doubt, wind farms affect the wind, just like you and I do, as well as all of our stuff, like buildings and cars. And those effects are still being studied today. This is Dennis Stout, and I'm the Wind Farm Guy. Thank you for watching. Working together, we can make good energy decisions and save our planet. I am the Wind Farm Guy.